Hello, welcome back to A Boring Revolution, your number one news source for everything in regards to The Boring Company. Thank you for joining me this evening. It's about time we had a chat about what's going on in uh, Bastrop uh, near Texas, or actually in Texas, near Austin. This is a very interesting development. A lot of people have actually uh, uh, contacted me via email and uh, DM'd me on Twitter and said, hey, are you going to talk about this? What do you know about this? What's happening here? And quite frankly, I know very, very little about this R&D site. However, I think given that these people have reached out to me and shown an interest, I thought it was about time that we had a quick chat about this and I can share my kind of theories as to what exactly is going on in this particular area. So I think the first question that we should uh, answer is where exactly is this? So um, if we just have a look here, let's just pull that up. If you just have a look here, you can see uh, Bastrop is down here on the east uh, side of Austin. Uh, it's kind of a small kind of town, as it were. Uh, this is where the Boeing Company has picked up some land. They've also got a fabrication yard uh, near here as well, where they're fabricating some of the pieces. But the majority of the work is actually taking place uh, on the site um, below here. As you can see, there's a few pieces of equipment here. Um, uh, to the left hand side of our pop up tent. I know Tesla loves tents, maybe Boeing Company loves tents as well. Um, I, I certainly think it's a very interesting structure. Um, not, don't see too many of these sort of things in the UK, but uh, certainly makes a lot of sense uh, in the US. Uh, you can see our screw conveyor, you can see our, our shield and the actual front end of the TBM here on the right hand side. Looks like some kind of air conditioning unit there, um, I believe. Uh, I couldn't say for sure, but there's a lot of equipment on site, uh, a few things a few things going on. I'll go through the pictures and just try to explain it to you. I think this is an R&D site. Um, I think that's pretty much been confirmed via job advertisements via the Boring Company. And uh, basically they're looking at people to kind of um, assemble TBMs, maybe modify TBMs in this area, and then ultimately kind of uh, test them. Uh, calibrate them and kind of uh, you know run run various kind of uh, tests to see how effective this machine is once the modifications have been uh, completed so first kind of picture here is, is kind of the main overshot of the site uh, I'll just pull this up as well just to have a little bit of an illustration of, of what they're looking to build although they won't actually have the utility part of this uh, tunnel it'll just be the main main area there so at the bottom of our screen, just near to my face there, you can see that they're building um, kind of, it's kind of like a launch pit, but obviously they're using kind of a poor poising uh, methodology here. Uh, it looks like they've cast a concrete slab there as well, uh, I think. Uh, looks certainly like that. Um, the actual uh, back end of the machine is angled for entry into the ground, looks like around a 1 in 5 to 1 in 6 gradient. Um, I'm presuming that at some point they're going to assemble the machine here once they've made the necessary modifications. Obviously a few things have happened up at uh, Resorts World in Las Vegas and I'm thinking that there may be some quite serious modifications to the machine in preparation for this test tunnel. Uh, I anticipate they're going to build a test tunnel here. I don't know how long it's going to be, Pref probably around uh, a third of a mile I'd imagine. Something in that kind of ballpark, maybe half a mile. Um, they have a large parcel of land here so they could potentially get a third of a mile in if they really needed to. Um, this tent here in the foreground, that's obviously where they're kind of uh, uh, doing a little bit of assembly. Um, it looks like in the long term they, they will bring things out of the back here and then drop them onto the, uh, the launch, uh, let's call it the launch ramp, it's the launch ramp here. So what else can we see? So this is similar uh, angle. You can see a better shot of the actual uh, launch ramp here. You can see the uh, uh, the segments there. Um, as you can see, it's uh, it's angled towards the ground. You can actually see here they have some uh, precast concrete segments here that are being um, uh, cast cast in place. So it looks like they're going to manufacture some segments here, maybe to to to, to kind of run some tests. Uh, as to kind of the strength of the segments and, and maybe we'll try some different designs who knows but based on what I'm seeing here they look like a very standard 
uh, concrete segment practically identical to what they're using in Las Vegas um, you can see the large spoil pit in the background there um, here's a shot from the other angle you can see the uh, the, the shield or, or kind of the, uh, the, the the rear part of the um, the head of the machine as it were you can see the cutter head there in the background uh, our screw conveyor here is is, is on uh, kind of uh, maybe that side on no, this is that side on that side of the screen this is the screw conveyor um, got a cherry picker there I don't know what they'd use a cherry picker for maybe um, I need to access the top of this uh, um, shield so there's a fair few things going on they've obviously set it up here uh, so they can uh, uh, kind of collect more material ready for assembly um, there is a better shot I'll show you it now uh, I don't think it's this one in fact I'll come back to this one there is a shot looking into the actual tent area itself as you can see they've got a large spoil pit here I'm only uh, going to assume that that's going to get a lot, lot bigger over the next two to three months um, they have some basketball courts as well which I'll show you in a minute uh, which is very interesting you know a uh, cool break time activity uh, although potentially you know doing that in your break time might get you a little bit tired so I'm not sure that's the best thing to do <laughs> and you should be thinking um, but uh, but yeah so, so there's a lot of equipment here um, this equipment is going to be assembled into the, the, the sort of main body of the machine um, and then that will be launched I don't believe they have permits yet for actually building a tunnel as far as I'm aware I've not heard of anything, I've not seen anything. If you know something, please tell me in the comments below. I'll reach out via Twitter or email. Uh, I don't think they have permits to, to begin building a tunnel, but uh, there's no harm in kind of assembling the equipment here and, and starting to uh, to build it as it were. So, so here's our maps, that's where we are. Um, ah, here it is. So as you can see, it looks like they've got some kind of track there as well for, for, for maybe... Um, sliding them at the actual uh, machines out of the tent there which is a, is a good little uh, addition there uh, some floodlights as well um, so look, is that like a, a generator I'm not sure what that is actually it looks like a, a little bit like a generator um, there's our screw conveyor there top left so there's a lot of, lot of pieces of equipment there looks like there's a gantry as well here in the top right hand corner so there's all, there's all the equipment you need to, to, to build um, your TBM in full, which is great. Um, things seem to be moving fairly slowly. Um, I, I'm guessing the majority of the work is taking place on the uh, on the drawing board, as they say, right now. And then they're going to be assembling the machines as and when they, they need to. But again, there's no permit for them to um, actually do the tunnel. Here's a good shot of the actual launch ramp there. As you can see, that, that that's kind of ready to go. Uh, those look like steel segments to me. Uh, that's your push-off point for the TBM. Um, it's interesting to see that. One of the main things that this site will be used for... Let me pull up a better picture. So here's kind of our overview picture. Uh, one of the main things that this site will be used for is actually bringing in government officials and having them look at the process of building a tunnel and the technology that they have there and then kind of confirming to them that the Boeing company has the capabilities, has the technical know-how and has the staff to deliver large scale tunnel projects. And uh, this is one of the main reasons that this is being built, not just as a uh, R&D site, it's somewhere where people can come out, actually visualize the process of building tunnels, actually you know, have a look at how big these pieces of equipment actually are, because until you actually get up and personal with these uh, machines, you, you, you won't realize how, how big, how impressive, you know, how sizable they actually are. So that's kind of what's going on here. Um, like I say, I, I don't know too much about this site, but based on the pictures, can make some fairly good educated guesses um, you know it's it, it, it's good they've got a lot of land here uh, you can see the basketball court down there which is great I, I wonder if the uh, the landowner uh, kind of gave them access and said hey you know build me a basketball court and you guys can use it <laughs> it'd be a strange thing to say you know what we will build that as well but uh, hey you know if it keeps them motivated and that's a, that's a, you know that's a good thing um, Great stuff. Okay, so that's that's kind of like the, the lowdown on this particular um, 
site as it were. Um, lot's going to happen. I want to keep an eye on this. There is someone who's flying a drone over this site called Jeff Roberts. I've tried to reach out to him. I left it a bit of late notice, but I'm hopefully going to get in touch with uh, Jeff Roberts in the near future. Uh, maybe he's got a better idea of what's exactly happening here and the kind of uh, ongoings that have, have, have happened over the last month or so. Uh, and then we can kind of, you know, put our heads together and establish exactly what and when they're trying to do things. So that's great. Right. Thank you for joining me. Really, really thank you. Want to thank all my patrons, especially my new patrons that are joining me this month. That is absolutely fantastic. And thanks for everyone who's been, you know, sticking with me, helping me produce better content. Thank you so much. And hopefully we will see you on the uh, on the next video. And remember, don't be boring. Thank you for joining me. And take care now. Thank you. And good night.